Hello friends, Misha Crossing here. Welcome to a new day in Kodama. It's been a minute since we've been here together. Oh, I love seeing the, the bus stop up there. It looks nice. Oh, what are we doing today? Um, I'm trying to remember if I have anything sitting out here for me to put anywhere. It doesn't look like I do. Okay. Main thing I'm gonna do today is change my hair. I know I just changed it, but oh, I still love seeing their houses here. They look so good. I'm keeping it purple. I'm keeping it the same color. I'm just gonna make it the same, the the hairstyle that it was before with my white hair because I like it more, especially with the what do I have in my pockets? What is all this? Oh, are these like things? Oh, okay, there's some things I've picked up from around town and then some things that villagers have given me. Oopsie daisy. Oh, Eric wants to talk to me. <laughs> talk to him. There we go. <laughs> you know, I've pretty much already seen all that Kodama has to offer, Misha. No, you have not. We got places to go. Things to do in this town, Eric. That's why I'm thinking of moving someplace new. My plan is to leave. Nope. Don't go. Oh, I didn't think you'd care that much. Well, if you really want me to stay in Kodama, then I will. <laughs> yeah, that's... Why would I move when I have great friends like you, Misha? Right, bro. And your house looks really good in my town, also. Oh, I still need to put, uh, put trees there. And the custom design sign is gone. I'm not 100% sure where I'm gonna move it. No, I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna put right here. But I think I'm gonna try the hot spring. Oh, I just got texts from uh, both my boyfriend and my friend Del. If they're both on their way over here at the same time, wouldn't that just be the cutest thing? Um, okay, no, Del just liked one of my, my messages. Uh, and my boyfriend was just responding to my texts about my tattoo. I got my tattoo appointment all set up. Um, I mentioned it like, a few videos ago that I'm going to get some flowers tattooed on like my collarbone slash chest like on either side uh, of my collarbone if you know the youtuber Claire Marshall she has pretty much the exact tattoo I want I'm just gonna get the oh this is where I wanted the custom design sign <laughs> right here so I might build it uh... yeah <laughs> basically the same tattoo that she has uh, except just the the flowers are gonna be a different slightly different art style and a different color as well hers are purple mine are gonna be peachy pink um, and I got the appointment set up for April 11th I think so very excited about that I will definitely film it and put it in a, uh, a vloggy sort of video maybe one of my little let's chat videos uh, I would like to change my hairstyle. Well, I need to sell the things that uh, are in my pockets. That's one thing I need to do. I'll do that when I go back down to town. Oh. I don't have the guide up, but I've like gotten this hairstyle so many times with my different characters, I think. Oh, is it business or private? Let's ju we're just gonna have an adventure. We're- we're gonna say business. Something appropriate for conducting business. Uh-oh. I don't remember this. Maybe it's fresh. Yeah, I think it's fresh. This- that seems a little bit more familiar. Uh... Oh. The color I want the same thing. I think it's intense. Hold on. Let me- this one I wanna- Nope, we're just gonna do an adventure. We're gonna go on an adventure. I'm gonna do intense. <laughs> um, I think it's a moody, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a moody color, uh, was the purple. All right, let's hope it turns out how I want. <laughs> oh, I've seen that hair guide so many times. I should know it by heart by now. Yay, guys, we did it. <laughs> I got my hair the way I wanted. Oh, and it looks so good with with the little witchy hat with her ears poking out. Oh, yeah, that looks good. It's a little longer than that other hairstyle. Good stuff. 
Looks better with the hat. Okay, I am going to pop in and buy... I might buy a tree for Malief if he has a cedar. Because I need to plant a tree by... Uh, whose house is that down there? Eric's. Where I had those bells sitting out. Yay! Leaf, you came through for me, buddy. You got a cedar sapling. Good job. Thank you very much. Oh no, I don't have any room in my pockets at all. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm just gonna sell some things to uh, to Tommy on the on the cheap, just to get a get rid of them quickly. Which honestly, I'm glad that they have that option that we can sell things to them because when you have a lot of stuff in your pockets, you want to get rid of, you know. Oh, I think I want to keep the amethyst. I might put it somewhere, but yeah, I'll sell all those. You're welcome. Alright, back to- oh, no, I didn't need to talk to him. <laughs> Please, weed. Such a funny little option. Uh, yes. This I'm buying. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to time travel forward a little bit to uh, 2 a.m. because... Uh, somebody commented the other day that they wanted to see me play at 2 a.m. since uh, I haven't before and the series is going to be ending relatively soon so I need to, I do need to do some late night late night episodes so I'm gonna go to 2 a.m. and wander around Kodama for a bit all right it is much later in the evening I feel like I have to talk all all quiet like <laughs> I like the crescent moon up there. Yep, this is a good, good time for Kodama. Man, I haven't heard this music in a really long time. I think I might... Guys, I'm just going to walk around Kodama right now. Um, do a full, a full tour of Kodama without talking. Uh, just wander around with the, the music playing and... Maybe I'll make a, a separate video of this as well with this music because that's just so peaceful and, and calming. Uh, it's a good idea for like, just for videos in general, walking through town uh, with a certain part of the day music playing. Okay, I'm just gonna hush and, and do this now. <laughs> Okay, guys, we gotta take a break from this and, and catch this this moth here. I'm sorry. I caught an oak silk moth. Who's smooth now? I wonder what my encyclopedia says about my new catch. Guys, I, I couldn't resist that. It was staring me right in the face. Okay, let's get back to being quiet. <laughs>
Sorry, my cat is being loud. <laughs> completes our walk around Kodama. Oh, I just feel so relaxed now. It feels, feels so good. <laughs> okay. I am going to quickly build a new public works project with Isabel. I still need to scan in those new uh, Kodama designs. I just noticed them uh, as I was, I was walking around. I noticed they were still the plain ones. I keep forgetting to, to scan them in. But I will... Uh, I'll, I'm, I'm writing it down. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna write it down. Uh, new Kodama Design. Okay, I wrote it down on my list for tomorrow's episode. So, public works projects. I would like to... Yep, start a new one. Let's do... So I kind of already know where I want the custom design sign to go, but that area down by Eric's house I want to experiment with. And I think the hot spring is the one I'm leaning towards, towards trying. Hmm. So I'm thinking the hot spring in the Zen Garden could go right there and then kind of as you keep going right you go you're led into San's area and maybe I will add some bamboo to that area kind of starting with the Zen themed designs maybe I'll move the Zen bell down there I don't know yeah I'm gonna try the hot spring for now oh I do not have enough money in my pockets but <laughs> maybe I have enough in the bank uh So yeah, we'll we'll see how it how it goes and add some bamboo soon. Those torches look really nice in the in the evening. Okay, I'm not gonna make Isabel go all the way around by herself and make her stressed out. I'm gonna lead her around with me. And I'll probably build the, the custom design sign next. Or maybe another Zen themed thing to go go down there with the hot spring and I'll add let's see kind of do a little walk through here yeah I'll build the the cedar trees right here oh these are plain trees two hmm there's a few I forgot to replace with with perfect apple trees perfect apple trees but basically right after these cedar trees I think I would start having uh, some bamboo mixed in maybe combined with Oh, I don't know. I'll have to experiment with how it looks combined with the different types of trees. But I need to leave some trees right here to kind of separate the area a little bit from sawn. Or I might replace these trees with bamboo as well. Um, but still just have a more natural type area separating it. And then yeah, I'm gonna have path lead down here. Um... So yeah, maybe like right here-ish for the hot spring, and that would give me enough room for trees behind it. There's room for the, the path right here. Yeah, let me try it right here. Let me pick up these flowers. I don't know. I can't remember how big it is. I feel like it's two by two. Hands of blue but I'm not sure. Actually, no, let me move it. Oh, mm hmm So I want trees right here, and then I think I want space for some bamboo or trees right there. So I guess right here is where it needs to start with that apple tree. Um, yeah, that gives me room for 
one more public works project, I'd say. And if, if need be later, I can move it around uh, a teensy bit in the save editor over a space or two. Uh, what do you think, Miss Isabel? Yes, I think that will look great, but I think there are some uh, flowers I need to get up really quick. Yes, I do not want to kill those pretty flowers. I don't want to kill the tree either, but... <laughs> I gotta... Oh, did I say to re replace it with something? Uh... Okay. I'll just hold an item and then... Okay, we're all squared away. Everything's set. Okay, okay, come on. Okay, so it is a it's a three by three. Oh it's a three by three. That means I need to move it over one more space, right? Ugh, darn. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe I need to go forward one more and then over one. Okay, so then it would take up to right here. Here, Make a space in between, and then a space for the Zen Garden. Okay, I guess that could work. I'll just put a few more trees and bushes right here to really separate this this area. Oh, stressing me out. Okay. Yes, please. I know, I know. We'll remove stuff. I'm all right with it. Okay, yes. There we go. <laughs> Let's have it there. All set. Thank you, Isabel. Thanks for being available at 2am for me to <laughs> build things. Yeah, I can have a, a good amount of, of trees or bamboo or whatever I want around it. And then... One, two... Three... Yeah, maybe I can have the Zen Garden, like, right up here-ish. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Gonna get rid of this tree, though. <laughs> Definitely don't need it right there anymore. Whoopsie-daisy, sorry. Not to you, the viewers, but to my mare for making her swing and miss. Poor thing. I'm also debating getting rid of the black flowers. I feel like they just don't... I don't know, they would definitely work for a witch town, but... And I guess this is a witch town, because the mayor's a witch, but I'm, I'm leaning towards having it be more of a spirit forest kind of kind of vibe, you know? Not super spooky, more of a, a tranquil, you know, eerie sort of spirit forest. Gonna plant that cedar tree here. Okay, let me go around and just plant these flowers that I have in my pockets. And then I'll wrap up this episode. This has been such a nice, chill, relaxing experience. I liked doing the, like, walking around and just having, you know, no commentary. Very relaxing. Might do specific, you know, videos. Ugh. Is that something new? Oh god. Oh, why'd I go this way? I shouldn't have gone this way. Oh god. How did that not scare it away, though? Is that just a cicada shell? Yep. <laughs> just a shell of its former self. I've already got one of those. Um, thought for sure that was something new. I'm trying to find a place without cosmos and okay this is a good place for the tulips mm. maybe cosmos down here somewhere nope there's already a lot of them right there <laughs> Mm. 
Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna chill right here. I should make a trip to Blathers tomorrow. That sounds like a good idea. Well, now I have to find a place for these black lilies. I forgot about them. How dare I? Oh, there aren't a lot of flowers in this little nook, are there? There's a lot of black ones, though. Okay, right here. Perfect. <laughs> Alright guys, that does it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back up tomorrow with another episode. Who knows what we're gonna get into. I should have those um, new Kodama designs scanned in and ah, oh, shucks. Ready to be put around town. Maybe we'll catch some more bugs. Who knows? Alright, thank you all so much for watching. You all have a wonderful day or night, whenever it is. Be kind to one another and don't forget to be awesome. Bye!